round 10 saw a lot of weird stuff in the AFL, like Luke Bruce think he's going to score a try for the Rabbitohs or something. In this clip we can see Warner run too far and a free kick is paid, then umpire descent gives them 50 metres, but for some reason Carlton don't take the 50 metres. I didn't even know you were allowed to do that. Play on, play on. It's not taken. Wow. So this has got to work. Kerno got a hold. In this funny clip we can see Bruce try to bounce the ball while being tackled, which is holding the ball, but it's not a typical bounce. Darcy Fort tries to kick a goal off the ground, but unfortunately he misses and ends up smacking into the goalpost. Different teams have different celebrations. This one, I don't think I've seen before. Sometimes the commentators use these statistics to try and get their point across. This one from BT is a little strange. Carlton 100 plus points. Four weeks running. Last time they did that, Kevin Rudd was the Prime Minister. It's been a while, but they're starting to score. I thought the ruling was if the ball's tapped out while getting tackled, it's not holding the ball. Paddy Cripps had a while to dispose of the ball, which he didn't, which I guess is why this was paid as holding the ball. After Nick Bryan kicks a goal, Toby Nankervis celebrates or... Yeah, I don't know what he's doing here. This may very well be the softest push in the pack free I've ever seen. Just listen to BT's reaction. Ward kicks a clearing ball to get it out of the area, and eventually you can actually see the umpire change their decision from throw in to deliberate out of bounds. Take a look. <laughs> 